Hey BTTF Stuff fans, this is Video Bob. I wanted to show off uh, another part. This really isn't something that translates well to video, but uh, people like my YouTube videos. This is one of what we call the flux boxes. It is a box that, uh, it's not really a box, it's a solid part. Uh, it, th these, there's one on each side of the fender, and then there's two on top of the car, and then two on the rear that are similar to this one, only uh, cut down. And this is a solid uh, piece of cast resin. The back is a little unfinished here, so you can kind of see what it looks like. But uh, when it's mostly finished, this is how it appears. You have to um, drill holes, put these metal plates on, this plug, and um, you can kind of see how we do it. I, I thought I'd show you what some molds look like. People ask me all the time how you mold things. and This is uh, a type of silicone made by a company called Smooth On. This is Mold Max 30. It's a really resilient and strong stuff. And I build my molds really beefy. I like them to be um, real thick so that the parts don't warp. I never use any kind of fillers or anything. I use really high quality stuff. This is uh, um, Smoothcast 326. It's a tenable resin. You can use different types of, um, of tints. I mix a little bit of white and black and uh, blue together to get this uh, bluish color. This way the part doesn't need to be painted and it won't ever really fade or uh, anything like that. So um, you can mount it right on the car just like that and uh, it's waterproof. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, it being scratched or dented or anything. And these molds are really heavy duty. You can see how they're made. And I just thought I'd show you this cool little uh, part. This is um, something that'll look really good on your time machine and um, I uh, just wanted you to see some of the craftsmanship here. We use all the same parts. I, I made a lot of trips out to Universal Studios and seen the real uh, screen used car and um, took a lot of pictures and measurements of it. And Basically, the long story, short story basically with these is uh, a guy named uh, Desi uh, had bought one of the screen used cars, the Part 3 car, and got some guys to uh, do some refurbishing of the thing. And uh, what they did was they took the boxes off, uh, made castings of them. Those castings were then cleaned up and made another casting. Then I took one of those castings, cleaned it up even further. I straightened it, got all the cracks out of it, all the bubbles, uh, just got it all pretty looking. And once that happened, um, you know, I made brand new molds so that everything is straight, everything fits correctly. I had these pieces of metal, uh, water jet cut out, these trim rings. These Mole Richardson plugs uh, don't come with the kit. Uh, they're really expensive. I can get new old stock versions, but they're they're almost $100 a piece. I used to be able to get them for like 50 bucks a piece, but now they're like 100 bucks a piece almost. Um, but I can get them if you want your car to be that authentic enough. And then you just put in a watertight plug here. You mount these to the car, you've got yourself a uh, very authentic looking part. And I sell these at my website at bttfstuff.com. Check it out. I know you'll love it. And thanks for watching another one of my videos.